All right, this time I'm going to convert uh, PS1 games to PSP, and we'd actually play it on the PSP hardware, you know, our, our PS1 games. So, uh, how do we do this here? We're going to use this program called PopStation. It's just a command line tool, pretty easy to use here. So, PopStation R, and uh, we get a name. So, we're doing this uh, NHL Open Ice. I don't want to type out the whole thing, but, you know. And the next thing is we're going to put the game ID, so... We'll, we don't know what it is so we put auto and the compression level uh i heard nine was what you want to use and um the uh bin file here so i'm going to do nhl bin and that is it now it's going to create a uh, eboot pvp and that's the format um that the psp accepts when you want to play your oh is that your ps1 games anyways we created one there and we also want to create a folder. So we're going to do, uh, um, make sure the folder is not over 30 characters. So I don't know why, but that's just how the PSP works. NHL, not NFL. Uh, open ice. So make sure it's not over um, 30 characters in length. Otherwise it does not work, all right? So what you want to do now is put this eboot PVP inside the folder. And that's how you do it. And then you put that into your um, PSP uh, slash games. And that's where it, um, you know, it'll load up when you go to your game in your menu. Um, so that's pretty much it when you do it manually. Uh, this program, it's the help page sucks. Um, the readme kind of sucks, but a little bit better than the help page. Look at this. This is the help page, right? It doesn't tell you about the compression level, any of those stuff I just did but uh you need to do those all right uh you can actually reconvert it back to uh or i mean not reconvert it but convert it uh the eboot back into isos if you want but if you want to get the help you actually have to go into the readme on their github page here and they'll tell you how to use it you know playstation r uh i mean pop station r the name uh the id um you know if you don't know the id usually people would auto and the compression level that's another thing with the compression level is that it says nine here but what is the you know the range is it zero nine or zero to twenty what is it, it doesn't tell me shit all right another thing is that they have a, you know example here like isos right isos isos so i assume it was just all isos but no you can actually use bin file uh bin and q file so i'm assuming you can actually use img files also all right so maybe try it with another format. Of course, it use you know it does work with ISOs, but usually when you get it online, it's bin and Q or IMG or something like that. And this program doesn't even tell you that. So I just randomly tried it with bin files, and it does work. So I'm a, I'm gonna assume it works with other formats, but I cannot guarantee uh, what other formats it works with. But I'm assuming it works with ISOs, bin and Q, and IMG files. Okay, so I'm gonna include that. Uh, another thing is this one can do, um, was that album art too, but I do not have the complete set. If someone has the complete set with, uh, the IDs and everything filled out, let me know and I'll try to incorporate with the script, but, uh, I don't, I don't have the complete set or I couldn't even find like, a just the U S release. So I just skipped that part. So when you're doing this, it will just output the file, but there's no like, you know, cover art when you have it on your PSP. So it kind of looks ugly, but it's all white. Uh, next thing is, you know, since we don't want to do it manually every time, that's just a waste of our time. We don't want to automate this. So I did create a script called uh, PSX to eboot PVP. All right. And this is the help page right here. Pretty simple. Uh, you can do a single file, multiple single files, um, a wildcard you know, for all the bin files or, you know, ISOs or whatever it is, right? doesn't matter. But how do we do this here? Real simple. If I wanted to do, um, what is that? PSX to eboot PVP. And I want to do like the whole thing. I can do, uh, you know, wildcard.bin or ISOs or whatever it is. And it will actually automate the whole process of creating the folders and stuff like that. Now, as far as the folders, like I said, um, the PSP can only do up to, um, 
was that 30 characters if you do over 30 characters on your folders it will say error or something like that so that's why our folder here is only cut off to 30 characters uh fyi if you're seeing this and you see why it's not um you know having the full name of it um so that's pretty much it that's what it's going to do it's going to convert it and it's going to put this eboot pvp inside it once it's done so let's see right here that's what it's doing and the next one is going to do uh you know this uh street fighter alpha 3 here and then the next one and the next one you get the idea i'm going to cancel out that there but that's what it's doing and we'll delete that now the other option is what was the other option if you're doing this just for like pure emulators uh you probably don't want to create the folders <clears throat> you know uh because the pvp can actually work with emulators too but uh if you don't want to use this with the actual psp hardware you can actually just output it to a regular file with no folder and we can do the dash f here right so we do the same thing uh but with the dash f in front of it here and this one will just create the uh ebu pvp file only and it will just do um you know uh, I'll put it here and it has the full name with the ID uh, in case um, there's a program out there that will detect the ID and then you know have your album art and all that so I put that in there anyways that's pretty much it for um, how you would use this program and the script uh, I'll post to you the script in the description it'll be my github page but that's how I convert um, was a PS1 games to PSP uh, and the output format is just eboot pvp um, real quick right anywho that's the program um, if you guys have the uh, the complete album art with like proper ids right these are the ids here like uh, what was that slus you know zero zero three two seven whatever if you have that like uh, with the ids let me know and i'll try to incorporate it with the script and it will actually patch it with the script um, hopefully but that's it for this one if you want to convert it to eboot pvp and play your ps1 games on there All right that's it